So, why am I here? I'm supposed to be enjoying this break. Um, training camp does not start for another three weeks, most likely. I think it's about three weeks now. But I'm still here talking Giants football. Everybody is ready to take a break. Content is slowing down. Obviously, we're all waiting for the Saquon Barkley news. But as you can see from the thumbnail, I'm still talking about the New York Giants in the middle of June. Oh, actually, in the end of June. Um, and again, I love it. I'm excited about it. I'm excited for the season. So you guys see the thumbnail. Um, I'm going to talk about some wide receiver stat predictions for the 2023 season. Um, but before I get into that, I want to thank everybody for vibing with me. Um, the channel is growing way faster than I thought it would. Uh, than I thought it would. And I appreciate everybody out there. And if you are a Giants fan, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. If you like the content, go ahead and share it. And, you know, hello and welcome to Big Dash Knows. Big Dash Knows what? <laughs> New York Giants football. Let's go. I was thinking in my head just now what made me laugh about Hefe in his video. Um, he put that video together. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was funny. He had a couple different content creators, Giants content creators, and he um, did a, a hotline. And I thought it was fantastic and creative. So shout out to Hefe and, um, and those guys over there at New York Revival. But getting back into this video, getting back into this video, I want to talk about these wide receivers. I don't want to talk about you know, some stat predictions I have for the wide receivers. Now, I'm not going to talk about all the wide receivers that I think are going to make the team. Um, in my opinion, I do believe that seven wide receivers make the team, but I'm not going to talk about all seven guys. I want to talk about just five of these guys, and I'm going to go ahead and name them now. Um, I'm going to talk about Hodgins, Isaiah Hodgins. I'm going to talk about Darius Slayton, Paris Campbell, Jalen Hyatt, and Wondell Robinson. I'm not going to talk about Sterling Shepard yet um, because for me, I don't quite know what's going to go on with Sterling Shepard. I don't know what's going to happen with Sterling Shepard. Um, I think if he's healthy, he's absolutely going to make the team. But um, durability, reliability, um, in the back of my mind, I have to think about it. So I'm just going to leave him off of this list for right now and just talk about the five guys that I mentioned. Now, first off, um, it might be a surprise. Some of you guys might be disappointed, but I don't think we're going to have a thousand yard wide receiver this season. Um, I don't. I don't think it's going to be just uh, one dominant guy that gets a thousand yards out of this group uh, of wide receivers that we have on the roster right now. And um, for some people, that might be a shock. For some people, um, you might agree with what I'm saying. Um, I do think it's going to be a wide receiver by committee, that type of situation. And um, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, you know, once the season plays out. But that's that's my feeling. So when I when you start to hear these numbers that I throw out. Just think about that portion of it that I, I don't believe that there's going to be a thousand yard wide receiver on the New York Giants. Um, I do think some people might be able to get a little uh, get close to that number. Um, but I think I don't think anybody hits that number. And I think it's fine, too, because, again, I'm talking about five wide receivers. I think seven make the team. So you figure two guys. I'm not adding any of those stats in this mix right now. So first guy I'm going to talk about is Isaiah Isaiah Hodgins. Um, great addition for the New York Giants last year. Uh, picked them up off of waivers. Um, great addition. Got really, really comfortable with Daniel Jones very, very quickly. And um, he only played eight games. He had about 33 receptions and 351 yards, four touchdowns in the regular season. Now, of course, he played in two playoff games. The Vikings game, which, a, which was a very good game for him, had over 100 yards receiving in that game. Um, and then, of course, nobody showed up for that Philadelphia game. But it is what it is. So last year, 33 receptions in eight games, 351 yards and four touchdowns. Um, I was stuck between two guys. I was stuck between, well, I'll say I Hodges was one of the guys that I thought about being the security blanket for Daniel Jones, getting a majority of the targets and, you know, um, being that, um, that, that possession type receiver that can move the sticks. So my 2023 stat predictions for Isaiah Hodgins are roughly about 750 yards. And again, I'm doing these estimates thinking that they, these guys are going to be fully healthy playing all 17 games. So about 750 yards and about seven touchdowns. So that's about 400 more yards than last year. 
and then you know three more touchdowns from last year um, regular season wise that's where I have Isaiah Hodges I think again he's um, it, it seems like to me that a lot of people are forgetting forgetting about Hodgins um, you know everybody's excited about Hyatt people are excited about Paris Campbell people are always talking about their uh, Darius Slayton whether it's good or bad they're always talking about Darius Slayton and I don't hear a lot of people talking about Isaiah Hodges and for me again I think he has the second best chemistry because I, I, I still will have to edge it to Darius Slayton as far as having chemistry with Daniel Jones but a close second and I can even see him being more of uh, the guy for Daniel Jones than Darius Slayton going into this year but again a possession type receiver um a guy that can move the sticks a guy that's a security blank security blanket for Daniel Jones um and again 750 yards about seven touchdowns is what I have for Hodgins or what I um my expectations for Hodgins are this year and again all these guys can do absolutely better than 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 the numbers that I'm giving you guys right now I'm just saying this is my expectation right now in the way that I'm thinking right now uh, with wide receiver by committee instead of having one dominant type of wide receiver that's your go-to guy so next on the list I'm going to talk about Darius Slayton and last year Darius Slayton played in 16 games and even though he played in 16 games he was not used early on in the season um, and we saw the clip of, of the uh, minicamp practice where Dable was talking with Darius Slayton, talking about how proud he was, how he kept fighting through whatever was happening last year. And I still don't understand what was going on, why he wasn't playing. Um, but he was proud of him saying that, you know, you went from, you know, not even getting a jersey to getting a new contract and um, probably being a, probably having a, an important role on the team within the scheme this year. So Darius Slayton. My predictions for Darius Slayton this year are about 700 yards and five touchdowns. Now, he had 724 yards last year on 46 receptions. Um, so I'm, I'm giving him the, around the same amount of yards because I do think we spread the ball around a little bit more. And um, I did give him more touchdowns than he, than he had last year because I believe he'll have more targets, not more targets, but um, where he gets the ball, where he, you know, where he gets his targets. You know, you, you're going to see him get, you know, schemed open. And also, he won't be going against um, other teams, CB1. He's probably going to be going against the CB2 or CB3. And um, I, th I like Darius Slayton in those matchups. Um, so for him, again, stat predictions around 700 yards, five touchdowns. Now, this next guy was a new addition signed from the Indianapolis Colts, and that's going to be Paris Campbell. And I am very, very high on Paris Campbell for a few reasons. A lot of people aren't high on Paris Campbell because they like to point to the to the injuries. But last year was his first fully healthy season. He played all 17 games, and he also played on the Colts with terrible quarterback play. Terrible quarterback play, but still was able to make some plays. So last year, Campbell had... Um, about 63 receptions in 17 games or 63 receptions in 17 games uh, 623 yards and three touchdowns and this is nothing to write home about um, you look at these numbers you're like hey okay but I think that coaching matters scheme matters and um, the way that he's going to be used in this system might be totally different than how they used him you know with the Colts and for me, I have Darius Camp. I'm sorry, Darius Campbell. What am I talking about? I have Paris Campbell um, getting around 800 yards. I think he's going to have a lot of yak yards as well. He's he's one of those guys that we haven't seen in a while that can make plays after the catch. Um, so I got him at, at about 800 yards and about six touchdowns. Again, none of these numbers sound fantastic, right? I have Hodgins at 750. I have Slayton around 700. And now I have Paris Campbell at 800. Again, none of these guys are getting 1,000 yards, but they're still in that area. And I think even though you don't have that dominant wide receiver one, these are pretty good numbers for this wide receiver room. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is Wondell Robinson. And it's funny because I don't know when Wondell Robinson is actually going to be back. Um, he's working the sideline. He's working the um, jugs machine. I haven't seen him run routes really yet, like I've seen Sterling Shepard run routes. But Wondell Robinson, to me, is a wild card. Um, I have, I don't want to say I have low expectations, um, but I don't have high expectations either because I don't quite know what we're going to get once he gets back or when he gets back. So I'm just going to jump right into my prediction for him. So I have him at about 400 yards. 
and I know that's nothing. I know, you know, he's, he was a second round pick last year. He should be doing mo way more than that. And that's fine. And I understand. And I believe that too. But for me, I, ha I have to think about the injury. I have to think about once he's back, how he, um, you know, worked his way um, back into this scheme or back into this rotation. And so for me, I think 400 yards is a reasonable target for Wondell Robinson. I don't think he's going to start in the slot with Paris Campbell there. Um, I don't think um, he's going to have uh, very many snaps either because you're also trying to work in the next guy I'm going to talk about. And that guy can play slot and um, outside wide receiver. But for me, Wondell Robinson, about six touchdowns, 400 yards um, is my stat prediction for the 2023 season and just talking about his numbers from last year you know he played in only six games had 23 receptions uh 227 yards and one touchdown and we and we all remember the majority of those yards about 117 of those yards came in one game along with that touchdown and um so it's not far off to think that Wondell Robinson is only hitting like the 400 yard mark I do like the, the touchdown number on that but I think it's very, very reasonable to see him do that, especially a bounce back season coming back off, you know, the knee injury. Now, let me get into this last name. So we were very, very excited that this guy fell to us. We had to trade up to get him, but he fell to us in the third round. Uh, we moved up to go ahead and grab Jalen Hyatt, um, awarded the best wide receiver in college football last year. Now, during the draft process, I was not high on um, Jalen Hyatt. I was thinking, you know, so a couple people had him mocked to us at pick 25. If you follow me, you already know I was all about John Michael Schmitz being a pick at 25. If guys like Deontay Banks and, and Joey Porter weren't there, weren't there. And luckily enough for us, we were able to get Deontay Banks and John Michael Schmitz back to back. So let's talk about Jalen Hyatt. Um, I put out a video about um, Jalen Hyatt maybe about a week ago, and I was just talking about how this guy will be playing this year with a chip on his shoulder. And I say that for a few reasons, because I saw a comment, and this was on Facebook, and it was saying, you know, what are you talking about? This guy doesn't have a chip on his shoulder. Give me a break. He's a rookie. And the first thing I thought about was the guy probably didn't watch the whole video, so he didn't understand what I was, where I was coming from. And, but this kid absolutely has a chip on his shoulder. Um, he had to earn his way um, to Tennessee. Nobody thought he was going to be that type of player. Um, a lot of people thought the guy that he played with um, was better than him. And I, I do believe that as well. Um, but um, he got his chance and he excelled. And he ended up being the top wide receiver in the nation. And he earned that. And other question marks were about the the offense that he came, the offensive scheme that he came from, and then other question marks about his ability to run the route tree. And I think he answered a lot of questions um, when it came to running routes. You see that he can actually run routes pretty well, um, better than I thought he did, or better than I thought he could. Um, but the other thing about him, he has short hands. A man does not drop many passes, if not any passes. Um, I have to pull up that stat to see. I don't think he had any drops last year or, you know. But I have to be realistic when I think about Jalen Hyatt. Again, this is a guy that can play both the slot and played outside wide receiver. But I think, again, week one is Hodgins, is Slayton, is Campbell, anything you're working Hyatt in. I don't know when, when uh, Wondell Robinson is coming back, but I can see Hyatt getting some some snaps in the slot I can also see him outside in certain packages as well if you just want to go speed you bring Hodgins off the field and you put Hyatt on the field and you go ahead and eat these corners up pause but um for me my predictions for Jalen Hyatt I'm, I'm just go ahead and get into it get into it I, I wasted enough time I got Hyatt at about 400 yards on the season and I know that's nothing um and again, just think back to what I said before. None of these wide receivers are getting a thousand yards, in my opinion. I would love if they do, but I have to be realistic about them spreading the ball around and this guy being a rookie and the amount of snaps that he's actually going to get this season. I don't know. Now he can go out there, you know, hit the ground running and just be fantastic and then turns into that wide receiver one that we've been waiting for. But I have to pump the brakes on that. I have to wait. Um, 
to see that happen before I start throwing out outrageous numbers. Because I can easily say, okay, Jalen Hyde did this in college, so he can definitely do 700, 800 yards for the New York Giants and give us 10 touchdowns for the New York Giants and just go crazy. But no, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be as realistic as possible. He's not gonna be the main guy. He's not gonna be the day one starter. Uh, he's gonna be working to that rotation. So I have Jalen Hyde at about 400 yards and about four touchdowns on the season. And I hope that I'm absolutely wrong. I hope that this guy can 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 go for a thousand and have 10 touchdowns. I just don't see that happening right now. And again, there has not been a preseason game. That, that has happened yet this has not been a snap at all we don't know what to expect from this kid but i do think um or i do expect you know him to have at least 400 yards and at least four touchdowns on the season so that's going to be the five guys that i wanted to talk about in this video um and let's go ahead and get to some of these totals so you know with the total for these five wide receivers i have about 3050 yards now throughout this whole video i did not talk much about daniel jones and obviously these numbers seem low until you hear the total so this is five wide receivers getting 3050 yards last year daniel jones threw for 3200 yards right so these are the five wide receivers and i did not even mention what what waller could do what sterling shepherd might be able to do and what bellinger is going to do so we already have 3,000 yards with five wide receivers. And not only that, we have 28 touchdowns with five wide receivers. And I know it sounds even more crazy when I throw that touchdown total number at you guys. But again, before I mentioned Daniel Jones, I was talking about predictions for these wide receivers. And even though at the time when I went down the list, you probably thought these, you know, these numbers were low. But when you look at the total, we're talking 3,000 yards and we're talking 28 touchdowns before you even think about what Waller, Shepard, or Bellinger do this season. So for me, I have higher expectations for Daniel Jones than, than, than probably most. Um, I do think that he can get close to that 4,000 yards uh, passing. And when you look at these numbers, it seems like it should be very, very feasible for him to do that. But again, he has to prove that because he has not done that yet, you know, in a Giants uniform. So that's going to be the video. I'm probably going to do more videos talking about the tight ends and the wide uh, and, um, you know, the other wide receivers. And also, also just think about this. I didn't even mention the possible receiving yards that Saquon Barkley and the running backs might have this season, too. So, again, I expect a lot, you know, you know, from this team. I expect a jump from the quarterback and I expect a fantastic scheme from from um, from Kafka in order to in order for these Giants, you know, to be successful this year because we have a tough schedule. But again, I, I, you know, I ask you to go back, look at some of these numbers that I'm putting out and they don't sound crazy until until you add them all up and you think about who the quarterback is and then the question marks come. So I'm going to end this video at that um i want to thank you guys for vibing with me please like comment and subscribe and for one giants fan to another this is big dash knows big blue nation we need to take a break for real but i won't stop let's go